Hey there YouTube, Superbrain AK here. And as promised, the uh, circuit over here that I was talking about in the last video. Um, well, maybe it'll lead up into it. Um, uh, as you probably heard, the Avengers Age of Ultron is just released a little while ago. And, uh, well, I was kind of a Tony Stark for it and dressed up. Me and my brother was uh, Thor and uh, I think his friend uh, uh, Luke was uh, uh, Captain America. So I uh, had a um, dress shirt and then undershirt and then slacks and then I had this under my undershirt and it's just a little uh, LED strip on some uh, steel that I cut with my uh, drill. Well, with a uh, it's a black inductor um, Max, I believe. Yeah. But yeah, it's got a quick connect uh, attachment, so it has a, and I have the reciprocating attachment. So it's basically a little table saw. So you use that and then dull the edges with some uh, hot glue and then wired it up using some wire actually from the um, what you call it the um, rear projection TV it's one of the uh, braided wires audio wires from the front so yeah that worked pretty well had a little battery in my pocket and yeah the circuit here uh, voltage current just for reference um, have a little Dell 65 watt um, laptop charger that's end broke so I just uh, put it in the little connector with some wires to the breadboard and yeah I know that's uh, not accurate, but Ultron was uh, sort of more red than anything, so eh, it kind of fits, and I already had the strips, so <laughs> that's my uh, little get up. That was pretty awesome uh, for, uh, for the movie, though I'm definitely going to have to see it again. It was... Uh, be set up in the front and it's not really a good way to see a movie just too much action <laughs> up close but yeah show you this circuit this part here you might be able to guess with a transistor and diode it's a buck converter so it takes the 19 volts from the power supply on this rail and bucks it down to 14 there and it's adjustable so I just changed the uh, feedback potentiometer Oop, wrong way so 6, 5 all the way down yeah 1.5 bring it up and yeah that the output of that is going here to the red wire which connects to this and this goes here common back to here which goes on to this circuit turn it stupid light to this circuit back here which uses a transistor a uh, resistor bank and then potentiometer with a little regulator just, just when I uh, just to regulate the voltage so it's constant because what it uses is this potentiometer to have a voltage on the base of the transistor and the emitter goes through these resistors to ground so when the there isn't 
any current flowing, it'll have basically a voltage of zero. So the transistor is going to turn on, allowing current to flow through the connect collector. Once the collector has is letting enough current go through the resistors, it will have a voltage which should match the voltage set on here. Meaning, if the current changes through this, it will automatically vary the um, resistance of the transistor, basically. So it's a constant current source. Pair that with a LM317, which I had here, or a buck converter, and you can have a very simple uh, constant current, um, constant voltage um, power supply. Which is another thing I got is a little um, panel meter, very similar to this one. So it's got voltage and then current. This one only has three wires, but if you can see, it's got two connectors there for power. So I got the one for external power, because that only runs down to four volts. So yeah, I can show you that working. So 28 milliamps there through the LEDs. And then I can change the voltage without changing the current. See, went up to 14. And obviously if you go too low, then it'll drop the voltage. But you can do the same with a resistor. This is uh, 7 ohms. 10 watts, 8.2 ohms. So I'll do that. Connect that up. Come on. So... 30 mi 29, 30 milliamps. There you go, 44. And that's 11.7. 14. Down to... 1.4 volts? Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's really small current, but you can put it really high. I only have 14 seconds left. But yeah, does pretty well with the current. 750 milliamps. So, yep, yeah, that's it. Thank you.